Alright, so now you want a little homework help with spherical coordinates. I understand that. At first, they're a little cumbersome. We already went through the idea and how we got our spherical coordinates. Now let's take a look at some of these translations. Let's go from point to point. Excellent. Yeah. First, why don't we draw this thing with spherical coordinates. This is rho, this is theta, and this is phi. When we graph these guys, we go backwards, kind of like shooting a shotgun. You come down row, track that pigeon over a theta, and then shoot out phi far. <coughs> Fo fun. If I was going to graph this one, my theta is my rotation from my x. My phi is my rotation from my positive z. So we go down pi over 2. How far is that? Hmm. That's um, all the way down to my y-axis. This is pi over 2. Then what do I do? I rotate. I rotate. I rotate 0 far. So my theta is 0, and then I go out. 1, 2, 3. So by inspection and graphically, our point best be 3, 0, 0. Let's go through and use the usual suspects that I put up there for you. Yeah. Um, we know that our x is going to be rho 3 sine phi pi over 2 co cosine theta, theta 0. Sure. So this is this is three times the sine of pi over two. That's a one. The cosine of zero is one, and my x is going to be three. Sure. Let's go and find our y. Our y gonna be our y gonna be. We're gonna plug in phi. We're gonna plug in three sine of pi over two. Cosine. Nope. Just kidding sine. I got it. I got this. Yeah. Lazy ass. Lean back. Lean back. Sine zero. Yeah. So here we see we're going to get three times one times none. And the end result is nothing. Let's go and let's find z. Z, see? Oh, here we go. C going to be rho, or 3, cosine phi. Oh, man, cosine pi over 2, that thing, thing, 0 again, and the whole thing is 0, and then how am I going to write my answer? My, my answer is a point. It's the point 3, 0, 0, and this is in x, y, z. You see? And then what? You do a box. And a flag.